Aloha friends, good morning. I'm going to make the popular Snickers apple salad that you guys can just Google and it's all over the internet with uh, various recipes. But the one that I'm gonna get is the one that I got from my mother-in-law. She actually gave me the recipe and it's um, it calls for approximately about six full size of Snickers bar. Snickers bars and these are just leftovers from um, from Halloween so I'm I'm just gonna estimate um, roughly that it's, it's probably about six or a little bit more I have five granny Smith apples I think he only calls for well I have six I think he only calls for four but I'm just gonna go ahead and add an extra one because there is gonna going to be a lot of people there and extra Snickers extra apples you know it'll work out and then um, two ounce two tubs of Cool Whip so I just got the the big one and this is the 16 ounce vanilla pudding for um vanilla pudding instant mix to be added in there along with half a cup of uh, milk and then um it asked for caramel sauce for topping which i was lucky to have because i forgot to purchase it but kids love their ice cream during the summer and I had some caramel in the fridge and that's it so I'm gonna take you guys along during the process of it it's going to be my first time making it um, because it is a very dangerous 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 um, recipe I will probably stay in the kitchen and eat all of it so the only time I would like to make it is when I have to take it out of the house um, so it says that I need I'm using my iPad but basically I just need to chop up my my apples along with the Snickers bars and put that aside and then I'm going to whisk together the the milk and the dry pudding and the Cool Whip and and then um, set that aside in a large bowl and then it's just basically folding it all together and that's it um, recipe is very very simple so let me go ahead and chop up my apples and my Snickers bars and I will get back to you guys okay all right see you soon all right I went ahead and diced up uh, five apples I still got one spare one and I'm figuring that you know this is enough so what I wanted to share with you guys is that I cut up a little bit of lemon and um, squeeze some in there even though it doesn't the recipe doesn't call for it because I'm one of those people that I hate I hate brown food um, I don't like overripe bananas I don't like anything that turns brown as far as the fruits I just I don't know I like to look at it fresh looking so I wanted to keep it um, as fresh looking as possible so I just squeeze a little bit of lemon in there because I still have to chop up the Snickers and then I still have to fold in the whipped cream and the pudding and I just did not want it to start um, getting brown in color so if you guys want to do that um, that's the trick to it and if, if you want to skip it then of course the recipe doesn't call for it but I just wanted to share that with you guys okay so off to my Snickers bars the apples and the Snickers um, bars are already chopped up. Now it calls for half a cup of milk and a vanilla flavored um, pudding, pudding instant pudding mix. So I'm going to go ahead and whisk that together. Once I do that, then I'm going to um, I'm going to add the the Cool Whip. But I want to make sure that this is really um, whipped up. Oh, well, wow, really actually pretty easy. And then instead of whipping with the, um, the Cool Whip, I'm going to use um, my little spatula to fold it in. But also make sure that um, it's thoroughly mixed in together with the Cool Whip. Okay, let me um, make sure that this is really whipped up and then I'll show you guys how I fold it. Okay, this is the um, this is how I'm gonna process the the whipped cream and the the vanilla. It's just basically adding it little at a time and then just folding it. Okay, and then just make sure that's through um, mixed up really well, and and then I will um, 
basically once this is uh, this mixture is mixed together the Cool Whip and the pudding and all I would need to do then is just add it on to the apples and the snicker salad and when I do that because it, it is a pretty big um, big bowl and I don't have anything bigger than that I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the container that I'm gonna use um, for the party and just a suggestion with you um, with us when we do have work gatherings or friends gatherings kind of thing um, I don't like to bring my best china <laughs> I don't have any china but I don't want to bring my best um, casserole dish or um, you know my favorite dishes at home I just like to buy these portable foil containers, um, eco-foil, so eco-friendly, recycled aluminum, but this was, gosh, I think $1.28 for two of them, and this is the um, the cake pans, and then plus, the good thing about it is that it comes, it comes with a lid, okay, so use this so that you don't have to worry about somebody taking your favorite dish home or hubby leaving it um, at the office kind of thing so I prefer it that way all right let me get back with you guys once it's all done I wanted to show with um, I just wanted to show you guys I went ahead and did um, whip it up together so that it creates that um, that very silky smooth texture so there you go see there it's all mixed in together okay Alright guys, here you go. Went ahead and put it into the container. It's all mixed in. And what I'm just going to do is with a fork, with the caramel sauce, just go around and um, and drizzle. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then it's going to be all done. It was really, really easy to make. And you know what? The best thing about this is everyone's going to love it. Just make sure that you put... Um, oops, sorry. Just make sure you put a label that says contains peanuts. Um, like my daughter, she's allergic to um, to almonds, and then hubby's allergic to pecans and almonds too. So it's nice to um, to know when you're going to a potluck or a little buffet um, work luncheon. Um, nice to know that you can't have certain products because it's already it's already labeled. Okay. That's it. I don't want to put too much. Um, it's just to make it pretty. That's it. Alright guys, that is. I'm all done with one of my dish. I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. Keep it, um, keep it into the refrigerator at least one hour before you serve it. Um, for me, it's going to be in there for about three, three, four hours, which is fine. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Sorry, camera's always moving around because I don't have a... Uh, tripod when I film for you guys. Bye! Mahalo friends!